This is how to install and use Fantasy Talking for generating realistic animatable talking avatars from a single static portrait image locally and free. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This project Fantasy Talking tackles a difficult problem of generating avatars. Unlike prior models that typically fail to capture subtle facial expressions, coordinated body moves and dynamic backgrounds, this one adopts a cutting edge approach in a pre-trained video diffusion transformer. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Konda and for this VM and GPU, I am very grateful to Mast Compute if you are also looking to rent a GPU or VM on a very affordable price tag, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon of 50%. Now let's git clone the repo of fantasy talking and I will drop the link to it in video's description. I'm now installing all the requirements from the root of the repo. This is going to take a couple of minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent Bot. iGent Bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Everything is installed. Now let's launch our Gradio demo by simply running this app.py. And the Gradio app will be launched here. Let me access it in the browser. And I'm just accessing at this 7860 port, the default port. And from here, all you need to do is to just upload an image and then an audio. So let me upload one of my own image here. Okay, so I have uploaded one of my own image and then I have simply uploaded one of my own audio, which I will play for you shortly. And then I just kept everything as default and then clicked on generate video. So you see it is running at the moment. So let's see what it produces. Let me play that audio for you. Macha gracias por tu ayuda. Mi gusta este lugar mucho. Now that is a Spanish audio of course. And the first time when you run this, you see that it is downloading the model. The model size seems to be there are seven shards. So let's see how long does it take. Hopefully it is going to fit onto my GPU. Otherwise, I might have to move to a bigger GPU, but let's see how it goes. It is still running as you can see here. Actual model is loaded and now it is loading this clip model, the Roberta one. And while the model loads, you see that it is using a van model behind the scene. And while that happens, let's talk a bit more about its architecture while it just runs the last bit from it. So you see, primarily it what it is doing, unlike prior models that typically fail to capture subtle facial expressions, coordinated body movements, this is adopting this new approach where it is using this VAN 2.1 as a diffusion transformer by using a dual stage audio visual alignment. First, it aligns global motion across the scene, including the subject, objects, and a background at the clip level based on audio cues. Then it refines lip synchronization frame by frame with a lip tracing mask, achieving precise mouth movement that match the speed. And that is what makes it different from the rest of the lot. Okay, so it seems that the model is loaded and it is now generating the video. Uh, and you can see that the ETA is around over eight minutes, and this is an uh, per uh, you know tokens per second. Let's check the VRAM consumption if I have already. So let's run this. So it is consuming close to forty gig of VRAM. So make sure you have that much VRAM if you want this thing to work. Okay, so I'm just going to wait while it generates it. And there you go, it has generated something. Let's check it out. I haven't really checked it yet. Okay, so let me play this. So it is talking something. 
maybe i will download it and play it in my browser because my sound doesn't work here so i just want to test the sound okay let's go to the browser Muchas gracias por tu ayuda. Muchas gracias por tu ayuda. Okay. Uh, of course, it's not perfect at all, but I will let you be the judge. Let's try out with one more image and audio. Okay. For the next one, I have selected this AI generated image of a female. And then for audio, I have again gone with an audio one, uh, the female audio. And then now let's test it out. Again, it is, I believe, going to take around nine minutes to 10 minutes. So let's wait for it and then I will show you. And maybe we can talk a bit more about this model's architecture while it generates it because I still believe that this is really, really good stuff because what it is trying to do, uh, albeit it's not perfect, to maintain the subject's identity and flexible lifelike motion. So instead of relying on a traditional reference network, the model uses a facial cross attention module to uphold facial consistency throughout the animation. And to further amplify realism and control, it integrates a motion intensity modulation network, enabling nuanced adjustment in expression and full body motion, not just lip syncing. And there are a lot of experiment results which they have shared in their uh, paper and also around their project page uh, where it shows some real good realism coherence and identity preservation and you can have some fine grained control too around expressions and gestures so if you go through that um, repo you will find some of the controls which you can set but again by no means it's perfect you know we understand that we acknowledge that but i think things are really moving in uh, right direction and i believe this is a new frontier anyway let's wait for it to finish and then i will play it in my browser the video generation is still running and i just wanted to show you that eight or nine minutes is not um the summary it could be higher as you can see it is taking around i would say 13 to 14 minutes and it could increase so we just have to be patient here okay so eventually it finished and one thing before even if I play you can tell immediately that the quality of the generated avatar is not good and it is just four minutes whereas my audio was around 10 seconds four seconds and my audio was 10 seconds anyway let me just play it like this okay now let me play it in my browser in the house That's it. So it even skipped the audio. Let me play the original audio. Then, leaving the corpse within the house, they go themselves to and fro about the city and... So this is audio. Let's play it again. Then, leaving the corpse within the house... So see, so it has just did the uh, three second. Anyway, as I said earlier, early days, I don't want to be much fussy about this, but of course, this is a new frontier. This could be improved. Also, uh, you could set some of the uh, CFG, which is a guidance for prompt adherence and other things, but not much there to control in this demo. Anyway, that's it. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let me know what you think. And I have done a few other videos too around these sort of talking avatars where you just give it your image and audio and they generate some video like this. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.